Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still uh, still not feeling real hot, so um, I haven't really even been on YouTube uh, really much at all today, like looking at messages and stuff, and um, I'll catch up. But I, I like to uh, actually read everything, and not skim it or or whatever, you know, and. Even sometimes before I reply, like, I kind of process it, and, you know, whatever, like, excuse me, and take the information, you know, so, but I feel like I had, you know, not had, that's the wrong choice of words, um, I feel, uh, um, a sense of, like, A personal uh, like just feeling I don't know a personal like I guess like an internal obligation if you will to um, to come on here you know um, even when I don't really have much to say um, as you can tell from my videos I will I will find things to talk about <laughs> um, it's funny, but I'm just kind of, um, I don't know, I'm just in a kind of a somber, somber mood, you know, like, and it really, I don't think it really has anything to do, well, you know what, that's stupid, I don't even know why I even said that, I have no idea, that's the truth, I have no idea, <coughs> um, I think it's from feeling sick, but I've, and I don't know, you know, um, I think that's kind of the, the, the theme for me the last couple, three days is, I don't know, you know, um, I know what I want, you know, like I know where I, I want to be, um, I'm trying to uh, stay focused on that, but it's very hard, especially when you're not feeling real great. You have that like fog, like your head is, you know, and that, and that you've got that that fogginess feeling. It's uh, definitely. I think it's just everything's just taking its toll on me, man. Like I am like. I guess I didn't even realize how stressed out I really was. You know, like the, the, um, I said in another video, like, I'm not a real huge fan of the unknown. You know what I mean? I just, I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just type of person, like, I like to have my feet on the ground, you know? Like, I like to know where I'm going and I guess as I was saying that I was thinking like this is a better chance of doing that now than you had before um, because you don't have somebody trying to curtail your your path and I think maybe that's the problem is I you know the, the, the sky is the fucking limit and um uh, Maybe I don't do the sky is the limit too well. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's the hold up. I don't I I don't know. Oh shit! Excuse me. I apologize. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just I, like the weird thing is is I have this thing in my head. That I don't want to miss any steps. Right? Like, I don't ever want to fucking get entangled in this again. So I don't want to miss... You know, I don't want to fucking speed up the grieving process or the or the healing process. And I don't want to miss a step in the healing process. Like, this is kind of the first time in my life, really, 
literally the first time in my life uh, since as far back as I can remember because when I was a kid I was like I was I was the parent and my mom was the child you know I, for example like when I was 13 years old um, my bicycle you know the fucking, I'm a 13 year old I had a bike and I used to love like BMX racing I used to BMX race a little bit um, not, no big deal don't get me wrong it was like you paid to go to the track you know on a Thursday night or whatever the fuck it was um, this wasn't the same bike that bike ended up getting stolen and we ended up moving to 29 Palms and I didn't really have any friends but I had this bike and uh, I ended up selling that bike at a pawn shop to help pay for the fucking rent yeah but that was like but it was weird because it wasn't like oh my god I love this bike it was like it's what I gotta do that same that same thing when we lived in 29 Palms California my my stepdad who ended up beating my ass uh, put me in the fucking hospital actually he put my head to a fucking wall when I was 13 uh, he was a marine and uh, my uh, my mom because he beat her ass he, he fucking beat her ass all the time and one time she walked in the house man fucked up fucked up and I was like you motherfucker dude you're never gonna fucking touch her again I mean he's a grown ass man and a fucking marine at that you know he's got fucking weapons all in the house and shit I was like fuck you man I went charging at him and he fucking grabbed my head and he put it through the fucking wall um somehow the, the marine corps you know it's that that brotherhood you know which I respect our military 110%. I actually tried to join the Marines, but I got bad knees from playing football in high school, and they they didn't want me. Um, but uh, at any rate, besides the point, uh, yeah, he put my head through a wall, and his CO, and uh, somehow they he got out of. My mom didn't press charges. I know that I was too young. Uh, for them to listen to me or or for me to press charges on my own. I was only 13 But my fucking mom sent me to go live with my dad And uh, and she went back with that motherfucker so <laughs> You know um, So I've seen this shit my whole life, you know But anyway, like this is the first time in my life that I've actually uh, thought about myself I always thought that thinking about other people was thinking about myself I know that sounds completely stupid but that's how I felt I always felt like if I'm taking care of other people I'm I'm taking care of myself I guess it's because I depended on them. I was reliant upon them. So if I took care of them, then then me being reliant upon them. But really, I wasn't reliant upon them. I was re reliant upon them for acceptance, but not day-to-day -day life. Not for you know, it, like in my own in my own emotional uh, survival, right? Um, yeah, it's weird. I've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of fucking thinking lately and like soul searching, you know, like, it's, uh, fucking very, it's very emotionally draining. Even when I'm just like, just bringing it up right now. Like, I just get this feeling of like, oh, fuck. You know, it's like so much to process. Like, you know, I I don't know this to be fact. And I'm, you know, and let me just say one thing real quick. Just, you know, uh, uh, a word of caution. Um, I believe personally, unless you go to therapy and you go to go see somebody 
who specializes in narcissistic abuse in particularly, um, you have to take what you hear on YouTube, including myself, with a grain of salt. Um, you know, we all share similar experiences. Um, and we all, you know, it, it's... Uh, everybody helps each other out because there's there's different levels like you know uh, I'm just whatever like subscriber a uh, you know got discarded a year ago subscriber B got discarded six months ago subscriber C got discarded 15 years ago but subscriber a might be farther along than subscriber B and C because they don't have the same emotional baggage that they brought into the narcissistically abusive relationship to begin with right so the timeline to heal is um, to me and you know it, it, it's kind of a funny thing because uh, you know I talk about like you know I, like I'm very resilient you know I can I will bounce back but the whole thing about it is Bouncing back is not healing. Bouncing back is bouncing back. It's pushing that shit down into your fucking gut and and fucking knuckling up and getting back to it. That's what bouncing back is. Healing is fucking, you don't bounce back, you fucking crawl back. You know? And I think I've bounced back too many times. You know, I think that's where I'm at in life right now. It's like, you know, like, um, like I could do this before I die. Like it almost is like it almost has become like a bucket list thing. You know, like healing myself. Like it's almost like a, a weird, like it's a it's a it's a mountain for me. You know, obviously. Excuse me, I'm sorry. But it's something that I've never faced. I've never dealt with, really. You know? And I don't, I haven't, you know, I don't, um, I try not to anyway. And you'll have to forgive me. My head's super cloudy, so I'm like fucking, you know, if I go all over the map and I don't make it back, forgive me. Uh, just try to follow it if you can, you know. I apologize. But, um, I don't know, it's kind of weird because I guess it's the, the first time, I think, thinking about it, that I have taken accountability for my part in it. But it's certainly not the first time that I've looked and said I could have done things differently. For some reason in my brain, those are two different things. Like saying I could have done something differently is not taking accountability. To me, it's more of like a reactive response. Right? Like they did this to me, but I could have did this differently. So I wasn't the one that caused it, but I could have reacted differently. Opposed to not saying I caused the narcissistic abuse, but I caused myself to get fucking fish hooked into it. I was young and dumb and naive and just out of a fucking long actually an engagement. We were fucking three weeks away from getting married actually. Um you know, I realized that I have a very big issue with being alone. Like, I like my alone time. I like being alone. But the the permanency of being alone, if that makes sense. Like, right now, for some reason in my head, it's still kind of temporary. But it's not. But it it's, it is. Like, because I guess it's not final. I don't know. I, I can't answer why that is. But I do know that feet, you know, whatever, but, like, my last relationship, which was 25 years ago, um, I 
wanted to be single, but deep down inside, I didn't. I, I like, I wasn't looking for a relationship, but I was looking for, I guess, acceptance, like companionship, you know, like the, um, like the, the, you know, like everybody wants that person that you could just like, or, you know, I'm not going to speak for other people. I apologize. I want that person that I could like come home to and, um, and you know, it doesn't matter what mood they're in or what mood I'm in, no matter how bad of a day you have, you don't take it personally. That doesn't mean that you don't like, you know, you're like, Hey, I, I had a bad day. Like I'm not feeling it today. You know, like just give me some space. And if either one of us said that, it's like, okay, obviously they just need space. You know, it's nothing personal. It's not on me. It's not on you. It's just, I just need space. And you give them that space and then, you know, whatever, right? And they're not just taking the space just because they don't want to be around you. Oh, excuse me. They're taking the space because they need that space, right? They don't want to jeopardize their relationship. Like that, to me, like that's nurturing a relationship is having that ability to be honest and, and be who you are, no matter who you are, when you are, and no matter if that is not the best individual at that moment, making the best decisions or whatever, but, you know, that's true love. That is something where, you know, I, I'm here with you unconditionally. Unconditionally means without conditions. That doesn't mean I'm with you as long as you're nice. I'm with you as long as you don't do this. I'm with you as long as you do that. You know, it's, that's not how it works. It's I'm with you. That's it. And you, you know, like, uh, like fucking old Tootie said, man, the facts of life, dude. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have it. Facts of life. <laughs> Uh, that just popped into my head when I said it, so I fucking go with it. Um, but it's real, you know, like that's real. Like I think, you know what, man? I really love talking on these videos because I did not even feel like really like saying much today. <laughs> and here it is, 18 minutes later, and I have fucking gone through so much shit in my head in 18 minutes just from talking into this phone. It's fucking amazing. Like, it is helping me process so fucking much. And it keeps me thinking all day. Because long after I stop this video, I'm still inside my head about it. I'm still, but, but I'm not inside, you know what, that's a stupid statement. I'm not inside my own head. I'm processing it. Like, I'm actually, like, addressing it like it's coming to the surface and I'm allowing it to be there and I'm going through it probably not entirely I'm sure there's many more layers and, and many more facets to this that I haven't even begun to fucking touch yet um, but there's many levels and very many facets that I've touched already that I can guarantee you have been like some deep-seated, deep-rooted shit in my life for a long time. Um, that I've kind of, I guess, come to terms with a little bit. Like about myself. Like I'm learning so much about who I am through these videos. Because I watch them back sometimes and like, you know, I have a few of them. And I'm like, wow, you know, like to hear myself say it and to see like the look on my face like you know it's just it's it's um for lack of a better word it's like it's almost like intriguing to me like to to um to go through that process oh I'm sorry I'm not so much. excuse me um but but it's good. It's, it's, it's fucking helping me big time. You know? Because I don't want to feel like this anymore. Like, not... 
And it's not even like narcissistic abuse. Like I don't want to feel uh, like subservient, you know? Like I don't want to feel like I'm I'm uh, I'm less than. I don't want to feel like I'm always looking up. Like that's how I kind of feel. Like I'm always looking up at people. Like it's always like like I'm just like I'm waiting for the floor to drop out or I'm waiting for them to figure out who I really am or like them to you know like I can't I can't be myself most of the time because like I'm afraid that won't be accepted <laughs> but inevitably yourself comes out and it's not like I'm trying to hide it I'm not doing it on a conscious level but I certainly have realized that I I um, I do that more than I want to admit like I don't let people at work really like get too close to me like I'll talk to them about some stuff in my life Like, I, I let them in on, like, a few few things that I have going on in my life or whatever. As long as they're not, like, too serious. But I don't let them into my life. And, like, friends even, I keep at bay. I don't know, it's weird. I, um... I think this is the first time that I've ever been so vocal and and just uh, like unfiltered about what goes on in my head and who I am and like what I'm about. I think this discard made me feel like like I don't deserve this. Like, I know I'm the one doing it on a subconscious level. Um, like, opening myself up to be fucking abused or taken advantage of or, or treated less than. Because if you think of yourself less than, you're going to be treated less than. Um, and I guess I didn't wrap my mind around that before or I didn't, didn't want to admit it about myself. I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that is. But... I do know now, I'm like, you know, I'm worth more than that, you know, so, anyways, I'm gonna go before I yawn too much more, <coughs> like you say, I'm not feeling real great, so, I'm gonna, fucking, I'm almost home now, I'm gonna go knock out, so, um, thank you everybody, I appreciate uh, you know, the subscriptions, the likes, the comments, all that good stuff. Um, and ultimately, and I sincerely mean this, I do want to try to help other people out with this. Not even if, if it's my advice, you know, people reading the comments. You know, I'm sure there's people that are reading the comments like, oh shit, you know, like, uh, you know, maybe they hear me say something in the video about it, and then the comment, you know, like, maybe it strikes a chord, I don't know. I hope it does with some people. It seems like it is. And that's awesome. It definitely is for me. I like it. So, um, yeah, man, I, I appreciate appreciate each and every one of you. Like I said, man, even if I don't agree with the, the, your comment or your opinion, um, I'm always up for debate and discussion. Um, there's been a few times people have come down a little, a little like, hmm. That's a little judgy, you know? I'm not really in the mood for being judged too much. More so, you want to educate, you want to help out, and you want to give your opinion. I'm all bouty bouty. But you want to judge me, and you want to be, you know, critical and shit like that. I don't know, maybe save that. Because um, I don't want to judge people, and I don't want to be critical on people. Uh, you know, we're all trying to heal. We're all trying to be better people. And I want this to be a safe space to do it. I don't want it to be a space where, you know, and that doesn't mean a safe space doesn't mean you're always going to agree. That's not what I'm talking about. A safe space is where, you know, 
use a little tact when you use your words. Some people, sometimes, whatever. Uh, I just thought I'd throw that out there because there's been a few comments where I'm like, well, that was a little unnecessary. Um, I've already blocked like two, two, two or four people. I don't know, like a couple people. Um, they were just like, man, you know, you're fucking out of line, dude. Or do that, whatever. So, any rate, now I'm, now I'm rambling, so I'm going to go. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.